Food has always been an important part of our culture, with dishes stamping our tradition and meals marking our history. All over the world, people eat differently, with meals seen in some places as delicacies, seen in others as commonplace. However, with globalization, food habits from across the world are becoming more common in Western society, except many are still seen as novelty. But why is this? What values of Western society prevent mass adoption? And could these changing values see adoption of these foods sooner than we expect? In the 21st century, many problems are forefront, such as overpopulation, hunger, climate change, and many more. At the moment, the current food situation isn't doing much to help these problems. The world's livestock alone produces around 15% of global CO2 emissions, and food waste habits throw away 1.3 billion tons of food per year. However, unlike typical food sources, insects don't add pressure to these problems and, in many cases, actually help to alleviate them. 80% of all animals on Earth are insects, and cultures making the most of insects enjoy many benefits from their abundance and size. But in Western society, insects are rarely to never eaten, despite their availability and benefits. As such a large chunk of the animal population, it almost seems like a crime not to use such an available resource. So, if this is the case, why aren't any efforts being made towards adding insects to our menu? Well, it turns out they are. In 2019, Wairarapa-based Breadcraft decided to start a range of exotic wraps under their newfound company, Rebel Bakehouse. A member of the Bakehouse team, John Hart, did research on crickets as a sustainable food source before joining the company. After realizing their potential, John helped found Rebel Bakehouse and introduce insects to New Zealand in the form of the cricket wrap. Crickets for these wraps are farmed in the Rebel Bakehouse cricket farm here in the Wairarapa. We organized the time to see this cricket farm and have a talk to John himself about how he is pushing for the consumption of insects in Western society. My name's John Hart, I'm the Future Food Manager for Breadcraft here in Marston. Well, about a year and a half ago we decided to launch a new range of soft wraps with some ingredients that were maybe innovative and different. Um, one of those happened to be cricket. So, as you can see, um, it's quite a nice warm and closed space. Um, we control the environment here for the, the crickets, the heat, the, the humidity, um, even the lighting is all controlled for the crickets as well. So basically the crickets are living on recycled egg trays. It mimics the cracks in the ground they normally live in. So it gives them lots of little nooks and crannies to hide in. So it gives them a nice place to hide and, and just live out their life in a, in a normal cricket way. Crickets are definitely a sustainable food source in terms of their environmental impact. Um, they're very uh, low impact in terms of the food required, the land required, the water required. Um, they emit almost no greenhouse gases at all. Um, no methane and very small amount of carbon dioxide. So we might feed 10 to 15 kilos of food to a cow to turn that into a kilo of cow. Um, you only got to feed two kilos of cricket of food to crickets to make up a kilo of cricket. That efficiency means that you need less food per kilo of, of protein, you need less area, less land, and it basically makes them incredibly efficient. So if crickets are so efficient, why are they rarely eaten in Western society? It's, it's interesting when you look at different countries, different people have different approaches to insects. I mean, there are about 3 billion people in the world who eat insects every day. And so for them, it's not a big deal. But in more Western countries like New Zealand, it's still seen as a really alternative protein. I think the, the biggest hurdle in the West is getting over that idea of not eating insects. I mean, on paper, cricket is kind of the perfect food. It's got very low environmental impact, it's got great health benefits, it's got low carbohydrates, high protein, it's kind of a keto friendly food out of the box. The reason it's not being used really well everywhere is because people have to get over that idea of eating bugs. That's, that, that's the biggest challenge. Because of this, obvious improvements to our food aren't being made, as despite the benefits, there just isn't a consumer market for insects. However, Times are changing, and tests in 2005 that revealed a 30% public interest in eating insects saw a rise in public reception when compared to 2019 tests that show an increase at around every second Kiwi willing to give insects a try. As well as this, these tests showed that people under the age of 35 were more inclined to consider adding insects to their diets with a spike of interest at around high school age. We asked a group of students from Wairarapa College to be interviewed about food products in 
the hopes to catch their opinions on John's cricket record. Can you sit down Take a look at the rap. What do you think might be in it? Um, hips. Maybe some leaves of some kind. Egg. Egg. <laughs> hips. Probably some yellow ones. Wheat. <laughs> Spinach, maybe. So, uh, what would you say if I told you that there were crushed up uh, crickets in their rap? I would think you're lying. Crickets? <laughs> I don't know, they'd be pretty cool. Crickets. Correct. Uh, I'd be surprised. So, are you comfortable giving it a shot? Or? Uh, yeah, I'm down. <laughs> I think it tastes really good. <laughs> tastes like a normal rat. It's quite nice. That's good. Do you feel like you can taste any crickets? You can taste a little bit. Do you mind the rat at all? I actually like it. So, would you recommend this rat? Yes. Yeah, it would. Yeah. Doesn't taste bad. With this more receptive nature towards eating insects, it seems that younger generations may just pave the way for insects as a common food item of the future. And with all the perks of introducing insects to our diets, it seems it may just be a matter of time. There's definitely a strong case to be made for diversifying our food, and with the many benefits insects specifically could bring, it seems like common sense that we should encourage their reception and support businesses trying to introduce them to our culture. Who knows, maybe one day Western society will look at a packet of cricket crisps just the same as they would a packet of beef jerky.